Green Way in Africa. Today was my last day here in Goma. And it's like God just gave me the most beautiful evening to look at the sunset. And the lake is dead calm, it's like a mirror. Early this morning I decided to spend my last day in Bohimba. When I arrived, Lorraine, our coordinator, Sylvia, Teresa, all down with malaria, coughing, sweating, but they were at the key point. We sat outside this morning under the tree to try and get more fresh air around us, to try and prevent more of us to get sick. And as Bindo desperately tried to get us to worship and sing, I could just sense such a fragileness, a heaviness among everybody as they were sick and the toll of the ongoing war. Then they asked me to share. How do I share? How do I encourage them? What do I even say to them? It's times like that where God's tears speak the loudest language. And I think as we sat all together realizing that I'm leaving tomorrow, there's just a silence and, and a weeping. We said kind words to each other. We reminded each other that we love each other. Afterwards, I got up and I walked into our key point. And I sat in a dark room where 25 kids were sitting on a dust floor, eating porridge. Boys like Bahati, which I couldn't imagine would ever have survived if we didn't initiate the Zero to Five program only six months ago. There's a gratefulness in my heart as I watch these kids eating and I realize how desperate their brains and their bodies need this nutrition to become strong and healthy. I looked outside and I see our care workers coughing and sweating. I just handed out the last bit of medication I carried for myself. And I, I was thinking I'm leaving tomorrow morning. And we are so fragile. We are so fragile. But if I look at the children sitting in front of me, it's a miracle. It's beautiful. Isn't that how it is of all of our lives? It's beautiful. It's a miracle. And yet we are so fragile. We are always only one step away from a disaster. Double, double, double dot, hands at work dot org.